Alright, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. So today I'm in a neighborhood called Ridgeview at Sky Canyon, which is a mass plan community located out here in the North Las Vegas Valley. The builder that we're going to be touring today is Woodside Homes. This model that you see in front of me is a cedar model. Plan 2, it is a two-story, 2,004 square feet. You do have an option for a three bedrooms to four bedrooms, two and a half bath, loft, cover patio, two car garage. The starting price on this home is $378,490. Now let's get right into it. Let's see what this thing has. So the two story, you're gonna get a standard nine foot ceilings. On this spec, you do have some orange peel and a bull nose on the cornering. We're gonna start back here in the, uh, the front here. Love that front window. You got the two-tone paint, two and a half inches on the uh, casing here. Off to the left as you walk in, you do have the valet and the pedestal sink. The backsplash that you see is not gonna be included on this build. Now we're gonna come back down here. As you can see, we do have all the tile the standard is going to be the 18 by 18 on here as you can see it is a pretty nice beautiful open floor plan let's take a look at the uh, kitchen real quick so the kitchen on here these are only 36 inches on the uh, cabinets okay now you can do the 42s but it's going to look a little bit awkward on a nine foot ceiling okay the uh, backsplash with the led lights that's an upgrade the petrophenia as you can see that's an upgrade. Everything that you see is an upgrade. It does come with GE appliances. This is going to be a different level and you also have a cook countertop option that you can do. Let's take a look at the pantry real quick. Pretty decent sized pantry. I don't know if I mentioned on the, uh, the tile here, you're gonna get 18 by 18 on the porcelain tile. Let me know in the comments below, would you prefer a glass pantry door or just a regular door where you can't see inside. For me, I would probably have a glass, but I'm gonna do probably frosted. Yeah, that's what I would do. Now let's take a look at some of these cabinets. You got the dark espresso cabinets with the pullouts. Again, you got the MDF staples. I love the fact that the glides are actually underneath versus the side glides. And you have the soft closing cabinets. On this one, it looks like they did the upgrades on the Blanca sink, which is about an $850 sink, just depending on which builder that you go to. The island is not that large here. You do have your dishwasher here. Let's take a look at this dishwasher. Okay. You have an upgrade on the baseboards here. So these baseboards here are a six inch on the baseboards, it looks like. So is the, uh, the pendant lighting. The refrigerator is not going to be included. Right down here, we have the two-car garage. Within the two-car garage, we won't be able to get in, but it does come with a tankless water heater and a two-amp panel for your electrical panel and a soft water loop. I love the fact that it's included. Some builders will charge you. This cabinet space right here will be completely open. That would be an upgrade if you want to add that. Now, your washer and dryer are downstairs. Let me know in the comments below. Would you prefer your washer and dryer downstairs or upstairs? I live upstairs. If your living area is upstairs as far as your bedrooms, I prefer to have it upstairs. Now, this one is a gas. And you do have an option to put a sink in here too, I believe. And right above you have your transfer grill. And you're also your 36 inch on your smart panel box here. Uh, I believe it does come with a Smurf tube to the D mark, but you're definitely going to have to check. I am not too sure. So out here in the back, let's take a look at the back. So we do have a 10 foot slide. These are vinyl slide. These are almond colors. And I believe with this builder, you have an option to do almond or you can do the uh, bright white for additional cost. The setback on these lots are going to be anywhere from about 20 feet to 30 feet, depending on which lot you pick. There are lot premiums, according to the sales agent, anywhere from uh, 4,000 to 25,000. Okay, 
So it looks like the cover patio is definitely going to be an upgrade and also if you're going to do the uh, balcony too as well. Uh, the air conditioning unit on here is a Lennox 14 sear air conditioning unit. So everything that you do see back here is completely an upgrade. Now I believe when you do your cover patio, the pavers are going to be included and I know the pavers for the driveway is also included. So the living room has four can lighting. That is not standard. Also the surround sounds. You do have two thermostats, one downstairs and also one upstairs. That will also be an upgrade. In here, the main living area, you're going to have your Cat 6 and also your cable outlet. The Smurf tube may be an upgrade too as well. Let's take a look at this here. Okay. Now let's go upstairs. Well, before we go upstairs, let's take a look at this little workspace here. So this full built-in, that's an upgrade. Six panel doors and also your hardware. Well, that's an upgrade. So we have some storage underneath the closet. Now the uh, HOAs here are going to run you uh, 800, I'm um, 800. <laughs> $85 a month for the sub then you do have the um, master $48 but there are SIDS and LIDS to this community as well uh, according to the sales agent the balance is $9,200 at $57 a month okay now coming up here to the loft you do have an option to convert this into the fourth bedroom should you choose to but I'm going to swing back around real quick this banister this railing is on upgrade. You can do the structural and change the railing. This is going to be more of the pricey railing. And you also have different color stains that you can pick and choose from. So within this loft area, a couple of things. Four can lighting, pre-wire. You have this 10-foot vinyl slide coming right off to the balcony. That's also going to be an upgrade too as well. Well, let's, let's go outside. Let's take a look. Look at all this construction. Look at all this building, all these homes here. It's crazy. What I like about this area is that you have mountain views pretty much all over the place. You got an outlet here. You got wood eaves. Soffits are all wood as well. But they're all pressure treated. All right, so we're gonna go back into the house here. So it looks like your filter is gonna be right there, okay? Now, according to the sales agent as of today, if you use their preferred lender, you get 2% towards closing costs. They just literally open this sales track. So early bird gets the worm. So this bed is a queen size bed. This room looks to be about 15 by 16. So it's a pretty decent size. Coming into the master. Master transitions into uh, tile. This looks like the standard fiberglass separate shower. Now keep in mind with these fiberglass tubs, be careful. Do not use like Ajax and... Um, that green scrubbing pad, you can really etch the, the fiberglass. Here's your bathroom, or your toilet, water closet. Let me just kind of show you guys again here. All right. Here's your master closet. Master closet's only probably like six by, let's say eight feet. Here's your second thermostat right here. I love the fact that they got the return duct right here. That's really nice. Here's your linen closet. Okay. Coming into the third bedroom. Third bedroom is 12 by 12.
This one has four can lighting. That's definitely an upgrade. So there's really nothing uh, special about this right here. Now one thing I want to show you with you guys when you're designing your home, you're going through uh, the design studio, especially with low voltage. You do have your one in one here, which is your Cat6 and your cable outlet. Did you notice it's along this way? Because of the bed is sitting here. So if the bed's going to go here, you maybe want to put in your TV right here, right? Versus to have your cable outlet here. Also, you may want to have that Smurf tube there as well. So you got to pre-plan your electrical based upon your layouts and what you're planning on doing. Looks like we do have an upgrade on the countertops and also the vanity. Tub shower combo. This is a, oh, you know what they did in here? Standard, right? Standard tub. Backsplash here is on upgrade and also the Delta fixtures too as well. It is a little bit dark in here. I definitely would probably add some more lighting. And coming into the last bedroom. This is like the one of the smallest bedrooms here. You do have your walk-in. It's probably like a 5x5. Five five. Okay. And I'm going to pan back this way. Here we go. Wow, this is amazing. They actually have a transfer grill in here or transfer duct. This is kind of cool. That's how you know it's definitely a, a quality build. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. Okay. Now I'm going to finish it up over here. The uh, the outside. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's a beautiful day today, guys. So beautiful. Guys, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Work hard, guys. Seriously, work hard. Pays off. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Crucible with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.